All right, guys, let's do this. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an, I'm an artist, the world's greatest living artist, for that matter. Yeah. We're gonna do a painting now. Let's start with this. The night is young. I'm gonna do some artwork. I got it right here. Mucho bueno. Salpe, actually. What's up, beautiful people of the Grams? What's happening? All right, let's do this. This is gonna be a good painting, man. This is one of those paintings that'll make you think like, man, this guy is the world's greatest living artist. Now, unless you're in the UK, it's getting a bit late here, but can't sleep. Hey, hang out with me. Who needs sleep? You don't need sleep. You need to hang out with the world's greatest living artist. From the UK. All right, check it out. This is how we're gonna do this. You won't, you won't regret it, by the way. Yeah. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> Look at that. Well, let's let's make this thing work first. Let's see. <laughs> shark week. I love that. It's shark week, baby All right, check it out now look look at what's going to happen boom 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 boom
Whoever put a whale in a fish tank, it's no bueno. But I'm sure someone has done it. Sea World. Oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> it just, it just make, makes sense in my mind right now. It looks like a, it looks like the, the helmet SpongeBob, SpongeBob would wear when he visited Sandy. Three hours later. Poor whale, huh? What, what, what is that whale going to do in there? These are your dreams. And this is your paradigm. I'm just joking. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> and this is your Finding Nemo. All right. Very simple like that, my friends. Very simple. Just a little drawing. Just a little drawing. And then you put some paint in it. Kick-ass whale. 
It's not just any whale, it's a kick ass whale. See what I mean? That's how it's done, son. Man, today I, I, I opened I opened up some some uh, some serious topics today this morning. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about some some serious stuff. Let's see, my friend from 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 the England says, uh, do you use any reference images or do you you're relying on your muscle memory from painting so much? It's both. I do I do use references. It's both. It's not one or the other. Sometimes I just use my own my own muscle memory, but uh, memory uh, from so many art pieces that I've done. Uh, Sometimes I do that, but for the most part, I, I I don't rely on anything really. I I use everything. There's a lot of shame around that with artists. I've noticed uh, a lot of artists have shame around using images or um, you know that type of deal. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Alicia. I'm glad you you, you enjoyed the message. Uh, yeah, the, the message was a uh, super super cool. I think I try to make it. I try to make it as real as possible. As possibility. <laughs> yeah, when I went to the art store this this uh, earlier today, um, I felt like I felt like I was missing something. Something in me was missing, and it was my it was my credit card. <laughs> I was like, oh no! Those moments when you feel like you're missing something special.
Vivek says uh, painting water and glass is so much fun. Yeah, it's because you're just reflecting, right? It's just you're just it's just a reflection. There's something about water and glass that you're you don't really you don't really have to do anything. It just it, it does its and you know what? Once you start seeing, for those of you who haven't figured that part out of what I do. But once you start seeing everything like water and glass, it, it kind of, the whole thing starts making sense. I see faces that way, flowers that way. Everything seems like, like this, like, like painting water or glass. Everything seems like, like it, it carries a reflection with it. So even my figures, I approach them that way. Even whether it's a, a flower, a tree, a landscape, everything seems to carry itself. A reflection. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it can be difficult if, you know, if, if we take it very serious, it can, it can turn very difficult. I, that's why I, I, I recommend people not, when you're going to paint something, paint it from observation, not necessarily from, uh, not from, uh, realism because from realism you, you're going to try to mimic a photograph or you're going to try to mimic something and if you paint it from observation it, it doesn't really matter there's a, a, a temp we're, we're, there's a temptation in artists that when we're painting we want to mimic we want to mimic or want to copy that what that which we're looking and i don't really think that's i mean that's definitely a, for, a way of doing it but but it's definitely it's not it's not fun unless you enjoy that of course but i don't i like experimenting and and, and trying different stuff and putting colors where they're not supposed to go playing with shape and form where where it's not necessarily where it's not supposed to be there it's not it doesn't make any sense just like a whale doesn't make any sense on a in a, in a fishbowl uh, a lot of the stuff that I paint and how I draw things and make no sense and I'm not talking about from a surrealist perspective a point of view but rather from a from a from a place where you make up the rules, not necessarily conceptual. Although you can do that and it becomes surreal, but to have a certain freedom. To have a certain freedom where you are able to do things and not feel like you have to do them exactly so I'm gonna tell you the best example that I can come up with uh, when we're talking about expressionist work When people when people try to paint something, it's like if it's like if I'm trying to tell a story, not even a song, a story. Right? I'm trying to describe something, but I'm trying to sound like the person who described it first.
oftentimes we fall we fall in that trap. And so I want to use the same language, I want to use the same tonality, I want to pause when they pause, I want to go when they go, and all of a sudden it doesn't become my story anymore. All I'm doing is is trying to mimic someone the way that they told the story, even using their own their voice, you know. Even using their voice. Oh, thank you so much, Alice. See, very simple. Not really that complicated. Because every painting is a story that you're telling. It doesn't have to have a beginning, middle, a climax, and an end, a resolution. It doesn't have to have that. It, it's, it's, but, it, but, it, but it is a story, nevertheless. It's a story. And so... You know, it's like you telling me I went to such and such place. There were uh, there was this landscape. There were clouds, and then I saw a blue sky, and and on and on. But if you read it from somewhere, or if you heard it from someone else. The story may, 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 may or may not be very convincing, as if you tell it with your own heart, you know, with your own experience. That's ultimately, that's what painting is, is you're telling, telling a story with your own experience. fishbowl. How do we know it's a fishbowl? Right? Oh. Even a two-year-old can draw a fishbowl, um, not three, a two-year-old, maybe a, maybe a four-year-old can draw a fishbowl and, and a fish and a big fish in there and you still, you still would be able to understand. It doesn't have to be perfect to understand the story. To me, that's what painting is.
I, I think that color is, is supposed to be used more than just depicting something. You you, you want to use color also to... I, I, I use it for many, many different reasons. I, I use it to create weight, to create lightness, but not just, not just in value or tonality, or if something is tinted or something is shaded. You want to, you want to be able to, to also create movement with color, not just with line, but also with color, not just the direction of your brush or your brush strokes. And so you're able to play with so many variables that somehow it works. Somehow it ends up working. I'm about to do another one. So this one, we're gonna put it on eBay. We're gonna start the auction at 99 cents. Oil and stretch canvas. It measures 14 by 14 inches. Boom. 